All right, so this in video here, we're going to be drawing this title block. Um, so again, I'm gonna draw it pretty quick. Again, you can kind of pause me. Um, this is just for the CAD 117 class. So um, we wanna draw this title block here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a point somewhere with the rectangle command. So I'm gonna click rectangle, pick a point. Then I'm gonna hit D for dimension and I'm gonna enter a length of 10 and a width of 7.5. If you notice, it puts a rectangle in. I have to click to kind of specify where I want it to go. And there it's where I want it to go. I'm gonna click the explode button located right here. This will separate the lines. And then from here, I'm gonna offset 0.38 up twice from the bottom. So again, that's the offset command. And then you enter your distance and then you select your line, offset up, offset up. You get these two lines here. And then I'm gonna offset the other way. So I'm gonna offset 5.85 and I'm gonna then offset 0.5 and then I'll offset uh, 2.025 oops I must have messed something up there offset 2.025 come on there we go and then I'm just gonna trim these up a little bit here make sure it all works so the trim command, uh, real quick, right here, trim, select the line, enter, and then you can trim off your objects. Notice, note the way in which it's done. When you trim, you're selecting the cutting edge, you'll hit enter, then you select the items you wish to trim. Now really quick, I'm gonna draw a line here from the endpoint here to the intersection here, to the endpoint there, to the intersection here, and to the end point here. Um, this is kind of the old school way of doing it, but this is the way I kind of like to do it. What I'm doing is just adding some stuff so I can locate, locate my text here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to M text, and I'm gonna pick a point in the drawing, and I'm gonna click, and with caps lock on, I'm gonna type in College of Lake County. Um, I'm gonna change this to Romans just to change the font up. Um, TXT SHX is really not my favorite. So, um, oops, forgot the justification. So the nice thing about text is you can always double click on it and change it. And again, the text command is right here under the home tab. Um, otherwise, if you like to use the annotate tab, you can find it under there as well. So double click. I'm gonna type in 0.125, change the height. I'm also gonna justify it in middle center. So this way, when I click on it, you'll see the grip right here in the middle center. And I'm going to specify the midpoint here. And again, just kind of kind of get it in there nice. I'm just going to kind of move this in. That last part's really not necessary. Um, then I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to copy this here from the midpoint here to the midpoint here to the midpoint there and to the midpoint there. So from here, all I gotta do is double click edit it. So I just double click on it and I can change it all up. Drawing title, CAD 117 and project number sign. Um, and then I can delete this line out, I don't need it anymore. Now I'll offset point one from here, I'm gonna trim off this little piece here, and I'm gonna copy this text, you know, right there for right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this text now and change the justification to middle center. Or sorry, middle left. There we go. So now when I click on it, you'll see the grips there, and I can select the midpoint here. So yes, I can go and change this real quick, but I'm gonna show you what I do here. So I copy now this guy here from the endpoint here to the endpoint there to the endpoint here, and it'll make it all even. So this way, each one is 0.1 off the line. Drawn by, double click edit, date, double click edit, and scale. 
So now you're just gonna go ahead and go to File, Save As, and we're going to save this to the desktop real quick. And we will call it CAD 117-Title Block. Save. So now when I wanna insert my title block, I can grab this guy and put him into my drawing. And that's how to draw the title block in CAD. Um, again, this is just for the College Lake County title block, but you can use this for everything. Um, one thing I'll just note again, why we use the 10 by seven and a half is just due to the margins of the copiers at CLC. Okay. 